I'm a stinking idiot dingus. I got a lot of different headphones, but there is one thing that I'm, I really do suck and I'm a dingus at explaining or giving any advice on, which is why I've done nearly none of it. Amplifiers. A really good amplifier isn't meant to change the music, it's just meant to replicate it as good as possible. But due to some amps being better than others and sitting in different price ranges, that there are better amps than others. But as long as they have more than one person's ears cast across it with like, you know, a thumbs up, then honestly, I'm personally happy. The fun I get from audio is how different music sounds from different headphones. As long as the amp has enough power and it's got reputable DAC inside of it, mate, I'm all sweet. My favorite one to use is my M17. Ever since getting that thing, I, I just haven't really wanted any other audio player thing at all. It fits my life so good. And at home, I've got a Cambridge amp that runs my speakers, but it's also got a headphone out as well. That thing also runs my old Stax Lambdas. But my first powerful amplifier that I got way back in 2020 was a Chord Mojo. Apart from sounding absolutely wonderful, one thing I noticed about it was just the vicious amounts of volume it could pump out. And that's where I got the idea of blowing up little sets of Dirty Buds because I couldn't find the ceiling on the volume until I had to take them out of my ears and just see how far it would go. <laughs> Everyone now and then asks, mate, where is it? Because like my headphone popper at the moment is my IDSD Diablo with a Barbie flower on it. Diablo means devil. I got this thing because IDSD were bragging that it's got like the stinkiest output jack of like any portable battery DAC whatevers. And uh, yeah, you betcha it's powerful. But when I was actually planning to do a video versus the cord, you know what happened to the cord, mate? It died. The original Mojo's USB input died and I couldn't plug it into the thing that I use. And I was literally making a video at the time. I'm sure someone knows the episode that it happened in. And this was waiting in the wings for a future video and it had to step in and take the gig. And take the gig it did. This has plenty of kills to its name and it's actually a bit grumpy itself. It now currently doesn't like doing things at low volume. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mate, it's like running it at full power constantly is bad for it or something. But the timing seems eerie because, mate, could have done it. Could have finally done it because the Mojo went away. I couldn't get another one because they stopped making them until the Cord Mojo 2. It turns out Mojo stands for Mobile Joy. Mojoy. So yeah, I suck at amplifiers. I'm so sorry. Luckily, amazing audiophile groups and competent audiophile channels can get right in the nitty gritty about amplifiers and the changes they do and all that sort of thing. A big endorsement for me to grab one was learning that like at headphone expos when people bring their wares and show off like the stuff they're making, quite often they'd be using one of these to test them. Something that's amazing and couples out there, like you totally gotta try it. Things with two outputs like this are awesome because actually sitting down with someone and listening to music with the exact same headphones on, the same amp, the same everything. It's like a little private concert and then afterwards like you get to discuss and talk about it. Some dongles and splitters that like turn into more, uh, they can ruin the sound sometimes. There are some really manky gross ones of those. So the fact that this guy has dedicated ones, it's really nice. It's got this crazy confusing thing. <laughs> you know, the color changes depending on, you know, what kind of file it's running and the bit rate. It's very stylish and neato and very unintuitive. But mate, it's for fussy audio files and we love fussing with stuff, so so be it. It is beautifully heavy. It's heavy in the way that you hope it would be. And it's just cold metal and check this mate, made in United Kingdom. Yeah, mate. I don't know, in this age where everything's shipped off to the same factories just to save a couple of bucks at the, you know, for the CEOs, the see, still made in the UK, mate, that makes me warm and gooey. It's compatible with heaps of formats. It's compatible with heaps of bit rates. But lots of things are, like really crappy nuggety MP3s on eBay are saying, that, oh, we play flax and waves. You know, but what's so good about high-end amplifiers? Well, it's not hard to boost the signal. The hard part about boosting the signal for audio files is that you gotta do it and have it be silent. Like, like, you know, I still use Make Your iPods, guys. I love this cantankerous old nugget. But if I ever plug any monitors into this, you can hear like little re me 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 and and staticky noises. It can almost sound like an old cassette. It's just how sensitive those headphones are, picking up all the noise and guts going on in here, you know, and the fact that it's ancient, you know, probably another stuff wrong. Whereas these amps, it's just. Whew. 
And mate, look, I know my place in the audio file scene, right? I'm the first door in. I'm the one get you even thinking about these sorts of things. And like the most layman's way that I can describe what a better amp can feel like, it's like another dimension. It just goes out a little bit further than you'd expect. Like the bass can go lower. You know, like the reverb on the tops is just crisper. It's stuff that you didn't know you were missing out on until you realize you were missing out on it. But then I can also argue that some people hear it and just don't care. <laughs> I mean, that's what hobbies are about. You know, I've put the, like some of the most expensive headphones on people with the best amps and they go, ah, they're all right. This isn't cheap though. And you know, there's still quite a few hunch for something that doesn't have a screen and all that sort of thing. And uh, you know, worse is just this, ugh, this clunky <laughs> business on the back. Coax, awesome. Optical, awesome. These two micro USBs, I know what they've done is because they have the poly which is like a way to make this into like a little Bluetooth receiving ultra crazy headphone whatever's so to keep that compatibility they've you know left the dual ones of them in. and you know they finally put USB-C on these but that is the most tacked on way you can do it I really wish it was just one USB-C plug in the back and be done with it or if you're gonna jank it up like this make it so you can charge through the USB-C I nearly never have micro USB plugs anymore. They're nasty. They feel like crap. <laughs> yeah, it just could have been clever. I mean, I know it's hard. Like when you're making it in UK and you're aiming for the highest standard, but you don't want to cost three billion thousand whatevers. But you know, with the whole chassis redesign, I reckon... Nah. That's my one grumble. But any of you who've watched any of my videos, you don't care about all this. You know exactly why I use this and what it's for and what we're going to be testing it for. Mate, it's its incredible stinky output power and the ability to stress out and blow up headphones. <laughs> but uh, you know what we need to do now, mate. We need to have a headphone blow up a thon to find out who keeps the spot here in the Dank Pod set, mate, right? The winner gets to stay. So now we need some deserving victims to cast these two. <laughs> and mate, let's just I went down to Cashies. And unfortunately, we had a big storm and they got all flooded out through the roof. But like Santa's riding a dragon, and that's how we know things are going to be okay. And you know, I got these. I mean, no tears to be shed kissing these goodbye. I remember this used to be a giant bucket there and they're dead. I'm Cleared them out. This is all they've got left. We don't need to go through all of these. It's nice to have a little stash for, you know, future endeavors. But um, let's just uh, turn up the noise and see which one pops the best. Nuggets armed. Oh, look how lovingly yellowed they are. <laughs> yeah, uh, anyone getting upset at me blowing these up? These have been rotting on the Cashy shelf, yeah? And like, Cashy's is one step away from landfill. Come on, Diablo. <laughs> I don't know if that's the the Diablo being really unhappy. <laughs> oh, well, let's see what happens with the Moj. on the charge right let's let's have another go uh -oh. uh, let's let's try another set of headphones okay let's let's just try another set well, lucky I got these nine dollar boys <laughs> Guys, the Diablo's unhappy. <laughs> Guys, this is like opposite land of how this guy got the job. The original Mojai died, the Diablo was waiting in the wings, and off we go. And I, I plan to have like a blow up a thon to see like who's the better one. But now this guy's dying and this guy's ready to take in the shoes. Like, oh, it did a terrific job. It had many kills to its name. And anyone wondering, oh, that's pretty crap how it's died already. It's like, well, all I've used this for is the equivalent of burnouts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like buying a new Corvette, only doing burnouts and going, what? It died after 9,000 miles, that's ridiculous. The winner by default is the Mojo. And I got all these like headphones and stuff, like, you know, to do like a big comparison. Well, all for you, Mojo. <laughs> Let's try these 12 buck stadiums. <laughs> Oh, oh, I 
I did it. Oh, I even had a special victim for the winner. You know, which I guess is the mojo. These $12 awful speakers. I want to see that subwoofer wobble. Uh, and before people get too upset about me popping these, it's like, you know, I talk with the guy at Cashies. I grab things that were literally rotting on the shelves. They were just gonna get thrown out. <laughs> What a monster. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, these held up. Oh, gosh. The wind coming out of that porthole. It was amazing. Well, good night, sweet prince. Uh, the Diablo did great. You know, this thing's awesome. It's got, like, the balance output. It's got way more ins and outs and all that sort of thing than the Mojo. But, you know, mate, I've just done Shrekter out pretty bad. <laughs> Plenty of value had. And it's just, yeah, mate, the Mojo's back. So any future head blowing up business and nugget phones and whatnot, it's gonna be the old mojo again. Um, yeah, I always thought that the mojo always sounded like it was going a little bit louder, although the Diablo has more power, but blowing up headphones is not what they're designed to do. It's well, using these in the complete wrong way. Well, you know, can you believe I keep ruining these? But hey, at the minimum, got the word out about these sort of things. You know, really good for folks who want to listen with somebody else or if you actually want to start really driving some serious bits of headphones and just know that you've got an amazing DAC and amp that's in your pocket. All the people are raving about it. And uh, mate, she chooches hard. Well. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinking names right here, because my one dollar a month, I do extra videos. Uh, you know, I do have extra videos on garbage time, my car thing, and the drum thing, which is my drum thing. And then I stream six times a week on float plane with my drum stream, all like that. But, but mate, if you want extra day pass, mate, one buck. Well, um, those speakers were pretty funny being run through the cord, huh? I mean, I had earmuffs on. That was that was violent. Uh, well, I have even more sets of <laughs> speakers, and we're gonna send them to Kingdom Come. Cashies couldn't wait for someone like me to come in and clear them out of things that were clearly never gonna be sold. So we're gonna kiss them goodbye before they get recycled and pulled apart and that sort of thing, mate. So thanks so much, mate. I'll see you all next time. Hmm. It's too tempting. Leaving it right here. No, no, Frank, come on, it wasn't that bad. I only touched it a little bit. Oh no, Frank. No, Frank. No, Frank. No, no, come on, Frank. Come on. It was it was just a little touch. No, come on, Frank. It's just oh Frank, come on!